So True. you have made this journey wow. so smooth for wow. me. True. So I have really been privileged to accept and love other cultures and getting to meet the people. How about <laughs> the culture or accepting you? How has that also been? People treat me so well, you know, wow. open their arms and just oh, hug you. In terms of the foods. Seeing your mother-in-law, in my case, can I keep up? She cooks so well. No. Is he expecting me Not to at be all. this perfect? Not at all. Being maybe childish or uninformed. Your spouse, your wife, will suffer. She makes the best shit up, hands down. Yeah. He's always, <gasps> you know, like come for those recipes. Help me say thank you to her <laughs> for coming into my life. She's been a huge blessing to me. Once again, you're welcome to our channel. We are grateful to have you here. And today we'll be discussing about what it is like to be a wife in an intercultural marriage. Wow. For my wife, <laughs> she's not from my culture, as you guys know. And so I want to find out from her what it is like to be a wife in a marriage that is, you know, partly Igbo and partly Dagaba. So tell me. So what is it like to be in an intercultural marriage for you? Well, I will talk about the positive sides to it. Okay. And uh, I won't say negative, but challenging or, okay. I don't know, when I get there. Yes. Anyway, I'll start with the positive. Okay. Like you mentioned when we're discussing about the men, yes. what it is like being a, a husband mm -hmm. in an intercultural marriage. Yes. You mentioned the culture mm -hmm. is the same for me as a wife. I get to experience new culture, mm -hmm. see life from a different perspective. Mm -hmm. What I I was used to growing up, seeing life differently, really. Okay. Like you're growing up, you never really know how life will happen to you. And to me, it happened in a way that introduced me to something so different from what I was used to. Getting you out of a comfort zone. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. But, you know, learning the culture and getting to meet the people, it is interesting. It is. And if you are an adventurous woman, you will enjoy the ride. True. So I have really been privileged to experience that. And also having to experience the how how much my heart can really open to accept and love other cultures because you know i used to just be so used to people that are from my culture mm -hmm. and then you diversify mm -hmm. and That's true. find that you actually have the capacity to Accept, accept be accepting and accept people and love people that are different from your culture. are different from what you yeah, are yes. used to true so that is something i've realized about myself that i have that ability to accommodate okay. to love more Great. and just to love why wow how about <laughs> the culture or accepting you how has that also been have, has it been something easy for you? Yes. I mean, I don't know how it is for them. Okay. Right? Yes. But the culture being accepted, like a lot of people I've met have been really amazing. So amazing. And that only just makes you feel, I just, I can't even explain how it makes you feel. It wow. makes you feel like you are... You know, you're in your place. Yes. Like, like it just confirms actually that you were in your place yeah. and you this is this is who you are and this is what you're supposed to be doing. Like you're not in a very different environment where like 
things are rough and completely yeah, different. It's, yeah, it's making the journey not to be a struggle, struggle because you are so accepted and people are willing to share what they know with you and just love you and just open their arms and just and hug you. True. It's like going to that new place where you don't know anybody and then you find a smiley welcoming mm. face with their arms open yeah. wide and like come yeah, here yeah. come get a hug <laughs> can you imagine how comforting that is yeah that must that must be very comforting. that's how yeah. i feel when people treat me so well you know wow. from ghana wow. i feel like oh like it just melts my heart yeah and it's it's pretty much like coming to, uh going behind your backyard right going be yes. to the backyard and then you feel you find out that you're actually not you're not in the house however there's still a second home for you yeah there's still another home where just, you feel comfortable right just yeah you know totally just makes you feel welcome that's true simply just makes you feel welcomed <laughs> wow. and when so, you're not welcomed <laughs> yes you know the journey is not you're like okay you arrive yeah. and then you realize you're not welcomed the yeah. next thing you're so you <laughs> looking for exit that. exactly <laughs> <laughs> but how has it been for you uh with in terms of the foods like um you know learning to cook new foods eat new foods you know integrating your own food has that been for you i think i would just talk about that from a point of uh, a challenge okay and i i will talk about it mm -hmm. as a challenge because mm -hmm. you know no matter how confident you are as a woman, yeah. when you get into an intercultural marriage, there's this, I mean, for sure, like I've, I am a confident person. Of course. Like Jeez. it starts and ends with me. Yeah. That's my wife. <laughs> I mean, I know I have space for so many other things and people. Yes. But you know that confidence that's just oozing. But then there's that deep within you, you have that worry. You know, seeing your mother in law in my case and seeing her just, you know, cook beautiful meals and with so much perfection. And I'm wondering, this is what my husband has been eating all his life. <laughs> no, right? but you know, is he expecting me not to at be all. this perfect? Not at all, because this has been for her many years of practice. Yes, that I, I wouldn't even expect that. And funny enough, to you may actually also even cook same or even better within a few years of practice. Better, exactly. <laughs> so it 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 is not something I and you know I've been very adventurous with food. Yes. Any food you, we cook in this house, I don't reject it. Yes, I but it, it's just that thing, guys. Mm. Like, it's inside of you. And especially the first few years. Yes. And it, you're wondering, <laughs> can I... Uh, can I um, Keep up. Keep up. <laughs> can I keep up? She cooks so well. Will I be able to cook the same for him? Exactly. No. And I, I remember I asked her <laughs> yes. what used to be your favorite meal, meal. when you were a child. Yeah. And she told me. Yeah. And that was actually what she prepared for me. Yes. And I'm like, okay. So there's that thing in you that's just wondering whether you, you are good. being compared to someone, you know, to that's your mother-in-law's cooking or your mother-in-law's dressing yeah. you know even though it is not a case however it's, it's, it's case. just that mentally you know yes. that mental you it's know, just like a flash games. So it flashes especially yes. in the first you know my first few yeah. months yes. into the marriage it yes. just flashes i'm like does he expect me to to cook like this person? Does he expect me to behave <laughs> wow. like this? That's a lot of pressure. <laughs> no, yes. not at all. <laughs> I mean, it's not a lot, but yes. it's there. Yes. But the good thing with this thing is that yeah. this type is solely confirmed by your spouse. True. So when it flashes, I just query you yes. and i look into your face, face and yeah. just to see the answers yep <laughs> and to be honest with you i have been so blessed i wow. am so blessed to have you wow. like so am i to have you you know the times i've cooked ghana meals yes i decided to do that oh yes she did the times i've tried to practice certain things you know saying talk in the language 
It's my decision. Sure. Like I've never seen any pressure or you comparing me to anything or yeah. even rubbing anything to my face. Like it has never been the case. True. So True. you have made this journey. Wow. So smooth for wow. me. And I think I think you bring a lot to the table. You just don't realize it. You bring a lot to the table, you know, like Thank she's so, you. so patient. Yes, yeah, so patient. And even goes ahead to do certain things without me even saying it. And these things are not things I expect of her. However, she asks that, yeah. you know, as he, part of he, your... He's always... <gasps> you know, like, I, I'm not expecting of you to do this. Do you However, remember the first time I made shit up? Oh, I yes. I nailed it, guys. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. That is the best <laughs> shit up, hands down. I've, I, I made I've the ever best tasted. shit up. And trust me, I've, I've tasted a lot of shit ups. Oh, you know, <laughs> believe me. Like, in boarding house in high school, that was what we used. So, I tasted it a lot. <laughs> but I can tell you, hands down, she, she makes the best shit up. Hands down, yeah. Come for those recipes. Yes. I make the best shit She does. Rice. She does. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I and I remember that shit in particular. I like I, I enjoyed it for several months. Yes. It never went bad. It was always like fresh, very tasty, goes with rice, goes with cake. Everything. Everything. Yeah. And thank you for all that. You did you, you did an amazing job. You did You're an welcome. amazing job. Yeah. My peanut butter soup. Guys, look, <laughs> that is another one that I can tell you, hands down, she does very well. I yeah. can literally close my eyes and, <laughs> and make then, that sauce. Yes, and it tastes amazing, amazing. So what we are saying with this food is that with that pressure I tell you about, yeah. that just comes to you as a wife in an intercultural marriage, marriage yes. I was able to overcome it by the person I'm with. First. True. And then it was just about me over the years, just trying things just because I want to try those things. And then seeing that I'm so perfect in it. True. So gradually, I those voices are just, just so, away. yes, so dim. Wow. But definitely did come, wow. you know, especially when I met mom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh. No, but you, you've done an amazing job. You have done an amazing job. New foods and new experience. I've had an opportunity to also taste new, amazing um, Igbo uh, foods. And that yes. is all because of this amazing lady. You know, guys, help me say thank you to her <laughs> for coming into my life. She's been a huge blessing to me. And I'm grateful. Yes. So for me, this, it, you know, it's been about, you know, the positive yes. and then the subtle voice that I heard so loudly during my first few yeah. months into my marriage. Yeah. But then all of that was, you know, went, went quickly wow. overcame. Wow. So what I would say is that for a, wo a wife in an intercultural marriage, <laughs> it's not enough to say to her, your happiness depends on you. Yeah. True. The role, the, the spouse plays a huge role to her comfort in that marriage. Because yes. if you are someone that is ignorant about certain things that women go through, or you are just intentionally being maybe childish. Or uninformed. Uninformed. Yes. Your spouse, your wife will suffer. Because True. you will unintentionally compare be, her, yes, to your mom, or you know, pushing the culture to her yes. in a way that compares her yeah, that's to more other so, people, or even pushing the culture to her in a way that is more like compelling her. Like yes. you're trying to say, okay, it's a must you learn this. Yes, it's a must you, you have, have to, to learn how this. to cook this. You have you know? to know my language. Or like you know, when you have a, a wife to a so and so tribe man, you have to be able to do this yes. now. Those are, you know, you may say it out easily like that, but it has a different, you, you know, know effect, effect in how the, the wife will receive it. Yes. yes. It and does. bear in mind, this woman probably came from a culture where she has spent most of her life there before yes. before meeting you. So I mean, how, how easy will it be for the man yes. to just quickly copy every culture, a new culture, culture. And, and, and do everything? Yes. So it's the same. It's true. You know, 
So I have been really blessed to have I'm grateful you I, I making made, everything so smooth. Wow, I'm grateful that I, I have been able to help make the journey easier. Uh, I, I, it's difficult. The journey itself is quite challenging on its own, especially to move from a whole your your culture, the people you are used to, and all that you have always known. Now into a new culture where you now have to start to learn everything like a child, learn everything all over again, and. It's, 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 it's challenging enough on its own. So yes. the least I could do is to make it easier for her. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> so this is what it's like being a wife in an intercultural marriage. Uh, so if you are in an intercultural marriage, please leave a comment below. Let us know how it is like for you being in intercultural, whether you're the husband, you're the wife. And we'd like to know which cultures are you fusing. Yes. We, it is Igbo. And Dagawa. All right, so that has been it for today. Uh, what it is like to be a wife in an intercultural marriage. And you heard it first from my wife. What it is like for her to be in an intercultural marriage of a, Daga a Dagaba man and then an evil woman. And please remember to subscribe, share, like, comment. And it is the only way you can support us, encourage us to move on. Yes. And we hope to see you in next our time. next video. Bye. Bye.